3, 2, 1, 0, ignition. Got a smile for me, huh? Smile for me. A smile? Yeah. Well, you look nice when you smile. What, no smile? <laughs> this global diversity and sustainability agenda has infiltrated everything. There is no reason for an NHL Pride Night where all these players are forced to skate around in rainbow sh**. It has seeped into all of our lives. The X-Men at some point are going to be appearing in the, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I told y'all this was the Fantastic Four when they got announced. You are not getting a straight white family with the uh, Fantastic Four. Forget about it. This is going to be awesome, yo. So we just going to ignore that hate crime, huh? The comic book industry doesn't have any incentive uh, to make the comics that people want because their parent companies are paying for them. Know the goddamn toys and show them some fucking respect. We're in the, the post-profit age for a lot of these companies. You were baby turtles who made contact with mystery goo. What the hell is wrong with you people? And now the gray goo of Globo Homo has become inescapable. I take plants and I process them into goo. I'm a goo man. Everything is politicized. Politics will come to you. Doesn't matter if it's sports. Doesn't matter if it's movies. Doesn't matter if it's video games. Doesn't matter if it's pottery. My name is Faye Johnstone. I'm the executive director of Wisdom to Action. Mommy, what is that thing? <laughs> I don't know, but it's hideous, isn't it? Hey! Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. We can create a world where everyone is able to live in public space as their honest and authentic self. Yeah. Call. Yes, chef. These motherfuckers, if they can find any type of way to sink their claws and teeth into it, it's there. Politics is everywhere. I have factories all over the country. I have trucks right now loaded with goo that can be here within the week. You can't avoid it anymore. If you avoid it, you're allowing them to continue to poison it with their budget ideology. I believe in an all-inclusive country music. Hypothetically, if you ever kill your husband. The mega corporations were infected with ESG by the asset managers who control trillions of dollars. I've stumbled onto a major company conspiracy, Mac. How about that for stress? But they are just carrying out the agenda of institutions like the United Nations and the World Economic Forum. Take a look at this. Why is the FBI director speaking at the World Economic Forum? Extortion is my business. Well, what's the director of the FBI got to do with any of that? YouTube have chosen to demonetize this channel. I love democracy. I love the Republic. What we are very proud of now is the young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. Half of this cabinet or even more half are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world. Incredible. Do you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? When we talk about the mail, please, Mac, I'm dying to talk about the mail with you all day, okay? So that we penetrate the cabinets. So that we penetrate the cabinets. Penetrate the cabinets. What did he say? We shall see a new power dominating the world. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Everyone flee! Take your basic bitch ass and toss it into the fiery chasm from which it came. And their true agenda has absolutely nothing to do with saving black non-binary lesbians or the environment. There'd be no climate crisis if it wasn't for racism. Alrighty then. Oh, it's cult indoctrination because that's what this is. Everybody should try drag at least once. It's really fun. Even kids? Yeah. It's time for a pride parade. Introducing ah! ah! SNL's first non-binary cast member. What the f are they? All of this stuff we're seeing that's done in Hollywood, it doesn't it doesn't come organically. It is not Hollywood decide that decided on their own. We're gonna do this to show how virtuous we are. Again. Hi. Impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. Shut the f*** up. And may God have mercy on your soul. They got my pronouns right! Let's go! Shut the f*** up. Talking of all you perverts. Or dressing in drag as a kid, which is a threat to nobody. Uh... Alrighty then. It was a big year for pedophile movies. The people that are executing it, they may think that because they've been indoctrinated into it, but the money men behind it, 
They don't want to cater to any particular audience. Their goal is simply to destroy. That's dead on. Wow. Hey, he nailed it. Wow. He nailed it. Boy. I mean, it's not about money. It's about sending a message. It's like Batman stuff. Batman's a fascist. Destroy the child. Corrupt them all. This is their plan, people. These are demons. That is true. It's treason, Ben. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. Ah! This is all intentional. For people that are out there that don't understand this, this cultural Marxist agenda is intentional about targeting education, targeting arts, targeting even religion, the church, you name it. It's a front of an information war, a cultural war, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. getting to the point, we're already past the point, you, you cannot just sit on the sideline anymore. Cameron Robinson and what? There, there's, there's no just sitting here hoping that it goes away. There's no just sitting here saying, you know, I don't want to involve politics into, they're already doing it. So mm -hmm. if you want this yeah. stuff mm -hmm. to change, you got to start engaging. Like you, you yep. have to start really meeting these people where they are to win back the culture. What's the galaxy ever done for you? Why would you want to say that? Because I'm one of the idiots who lives in it. There is cultural Marxism, whether people want to admit it or not, this is the origins of CRT, uh, intersectional feminism, where it's dividing everybody into groups. Uh oh, two independent thought alarms in one day. We're losing the individual, so we have this collectivist mentality. Disney has cozied up to the communist regime in China. It's it's beyond woke. Woke is the nice word for it, believe me. Disney also capitulates to the Chinese government's every censorship demand in order to retain access to their market. Woke is the nice word for what they've been doing is dividing us as a country, dividing us culturally in every single thing we love. It's all part of the fucking blueprint. They decided that uh, they're going to get rid of us. <laughs> and fascism would be the other word for it. Non-compliant resident alert. Ladies and gentlemen, behold your new god, Mr. Burns. And you know what? This shit sounded crazy five years ago. I'll eat your ass. I will. It did. It sounded crazy. It sounds a lot less crazy now, doesn't it? In addition to working for me, you may now praise me as your almighty. Amen, sir. This, Amen. this really feels biblical, to be honest. Like, oh, you know, the, the, sure. the idea of a, the war between heaven and hell. Hi. My name's John. Jesus wept! They openly admit their, yeah. their yeah. intentions at this point. Let's go lick, lick the world. Let's get it done. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, let's break it down! For this is like traditional Marxist so socialist engineering. Metaphor. This sort of suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. It's to demoralize. The demoralization process in the United States is basically completed already. I think that we send a very clear message to people of that you're not welcome here. Breathe out all the in there. The express intent of all that's being done to Star Wars, everything like that, is to demoralize society. I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. Dad issues. Dad, 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 Dad issues. Dad. <laughs> Most of it is done by Americans to Americans. Disney has turned from a place of magic for children to an ideological company serving LGBTQ, IA plus lobbies children. Didn't see that coming. I knew you'd go to the customers and tell them you f***ed it up. And it's done across the board and the entertainment is just one little thing. Well, this whole box is put by Sylvia! A person who was demoralized is unable to assess true information. The facts tell nothing to him. We're living in a time where people are trained to uh, uh, view things through the lens of your truth. We will not let fear win. Speech. Speech. Speech! Speech! I have not uh, done everything in my power to ensure that the sets I work on are inclusive. You gonna get another haircut? Not likely. The entertainment side, that is just one aspect of a coordinated, hostile effort. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be un- 
It's basically an intergalactic invasion into this space through. That is also true. I, I, I'm telling you, it's what all the ancients said. It's what they warned of. It's what we're dealing with. They're hey, that space. Can't say anything these days. We have to really do the the hard work to truly understand systemic. You're an imbecile. Speech, 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 speech. And a lot of it has to deal with, you know, me talking to the UN. The woke agenda. Expediting what's going to be happening with uh, the melting ice caps. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Bobby, vegetarians can't be trusted. God damn it, dude, I'm having a panic attack. I'm actually having a panic attack. Oh, will you attack. settle down and have another cup of coffee? Even if I take him by force to the Soviet Union and show him camp, he will refuse to believe it. Really just us. the idea of us ruining our planet. Hey, kids. Always recycle. To the extreme! And um, the fact that we all need to get it together and save, save our home. This is no hoax, ladies and gentlemen. I urge you to run for your lives while you can. We're not making this up just so we can take over the world. <laughs> That's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real! What else is on? Until he, he is going to receive a kick in, the, in his fat bottom. The Republic will be reorganized into the first galactic empire! Yes! Oh! They're freaking interdimensional answers, okay? I'll just say it. You don't give up, do you? Ah, fire! Yes! I shall look forward personally to exterminating you. Ah! Perhaps it is time to begin again. And it's because there are ulterior motives to to so much behind it. Marxism. We uh, are trained Marxists. No, I didn't like that. I mean, it is that, literally. This is a commune. We're communists. I think that it is the obligation of the people that have created and perpetuate and benefit from a system of oppression to be the ones that dismantle it. So that's on us. So this is how liberty dies. With thunderous applause. When a military boot crashes his balls, then he will understand, but not before that. That's the tragic of the situation of demoralization. I've never seen myself represented in the Lord of the Rings before, so. <laughs> what, 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 what? To keep it up, and I'm gonna smash that thing to pieces. It's entrenched in our institutions like the FBI, the CIA. Uh, it's it's been here for for a long time, a long time. This is a load of barnacles. I am the king. In such sensitive areas as as uh, defense and economy, hmm. uh, the uh, influence of Marxist-Leninist ideas in the United States is absolutely fantastic. I'm not interested in the glass ceiling. I'm interested in the brick wall. Because if I take down the brick wall, then we can redesign the building. And that's the only way to go forward. It's called capitalism. Hey, power! The communists declared that the real differences among our people constituted the weakest and most vulnerable point in our social fabric. Diversity means communists of color, I'm telling you. So? It's MAGA country! This is all driven by the global elites and they have a vested interest for whatever reason these people are not freaking okay in making sure that the lower class and the lower middle class all across the world does not engage in the types of things that would create competition against them just like jeffrey shut up i know he's your friend but i don't care some men just want to watch the world burn there's just some real pieces of shit out there that just like to hurt people. Fear me! This situation is a blood-soaked, nightmarish hellscape. Something's coming. The, the time bomb is ticking with every second. <gasps> Even MSG cannot save this? You need Jesus. <laughs> Something dark. My character, you know, she's a she's a powerful leader. She's a powerful leader. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, in a very woman-centered world. 
one word and I hit you again. Because I feel like Star Wars is, is very, like, patriarchal. I'm telling mother. Oh. What the? What makes a great Star Wars story? Oh, gosh, I think there's many things that make a great Star Wars story. Kind of cool to have, like, this sort of woman-centered figure. Everyone wants you to shut up. And yet I won't. Yeah, I just try to treat everything as if we're on RuPaul's Drag Race. That's kind of like my... Shut the f*** up. Just work the runway, work the runway. You're fired. And with good cause. And I'm attracted to the idea of immersing myself in a Jedi Academy with a powerful Jedi Master. Who would like to meet the Jedi Master? Oh, you suck. Her? Best parts about Star Wars is there is no good or evil. Depends on what side you're standing on. You're wrong. Get him out of here! Get the f out of my room! Oh my God. <laughs> we love a humble Jedi queen. Yeah. No. As we just said, this is an entirely new era for Star Wars. Are you f***ing stupid? No, I'm not stupid, Chef. What is it about you and failure? Boom. Sadness. That's the one. <laughs> Just tell me what's wrong What the freaking show. Let me try to talk about this without getting fired or murdered. Our world and its future has been controlled by a tiny cult of rich and powerful people for centuries. Who controls the British crown? Who keeps the metric system down? We do. Pokemon, go to the polls. Your time's coming, you clockwork elf demon gay frog. Is there anything you'd like to tell us about your relationship with this previously unknown galactic government? You were made to be ruled. In the end, you will always kneel. They think they control the galaxy, I disagree. This cult of elitists rose to prominence with the robber barons and monopoly men of the Industrial Revolution who are obsessed with eugenics. Who keeps Atlantis off the maps? Who keeps the Martians under wraps? We do. Yeah, I want to hear you rib it right now, dude. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely yes. not. Yes. Rib it. 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 And now, this cult is on through their protégés, the globalists and technocrats of the digital revolution. Is the ability to hack human beings. Who are obsessed with overpopulation genocide. This is our world now! Lay down and die! Peace was never an option. All of the wokeness in our culture, all the ESG in our corporations, is the result of the same global agenda. We need to empower the youth. We need social equity. We need to protect our environment. Think about the children! And then they eat the poo poo! It feels like, like a, 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 a meeting of supervillains. Yes, it is. It's like, like it is. I, I'm just waiting it for James is. Bond to come in with his car. Yeah. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. You know, I'm a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. I had a really clear job to do when yeah. I took over Bud Light. What I brought to that was a belief in Okay, what, is, what, do, what does evolve and elevate mean? It means inclusivity. Aren't these just buzzwords that dumb people use to sound important? And representation is at sort of the heart of evolution. You've got to see people who reflect you in the work. Not common. I'm fired, aren't I? Oh, yes. Why is Anheuser-Busch committing suicide? Why did Hollywood commit suicide? Why is the left doing this? Why are they like kamikazes? Well, it's because of the ESG right score and because of the, what's the name of a uh, component of the ESG, the index, where it's basically about BlackRock, yeah. Vanguard, right? They're looking at these stocks and they're basically trying to manipulate people into fitting their agenda. And it's not about the consumer, it's about artificially manipulating the market so they can create the world. And this, I'm sounding like you. No, they can artificially yeah, yeah, create right, the world right. in their own vision. Rebe, rebe. Exactly. The banks have weaponized the media like a kamikaze is going to be destroyed, but it, 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 it's a weapon. So they don't mind destroying the NBA, the NFL, all these things. Oh, I'm not again. Because to get the agenda in, because once the central bank digital currencies are in, and once uh, they have those ESG systems in where everything is tied to your behavior. I have no choice but to remand you to the Palace of Justice for processing. It's Mark of the Beast, total control, it's game over. You mean execution, don't you? Processing. A key difference in, with the CBDC is the central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that a expression of central bank liability.
Any other meaningless conspiracy theories? Yes. Did you know that Gogurt is just yogurt? So the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together. Say hello to my little friend! And buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. And also, we will have the technology to enforce that. And people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. We do. We do. This culture war isn't really about protecting superhero cartoons and sci-fi canon. It's about preventing our annihilation. Write that down, write that down! This is important because it's not just, you know, silly comic books or video games or whatever. It's the culture part of it. That's why they took over these creative spaces because that's what gets into the hearts and minds of the populace, right? It just got real. Turn it up now. How do you make people see the world in a different way? Well, you tell them creatively. And that's what they've done. And, and a lot of, and especially on the, on the conservative pundit side, nobody was saying anything about it. What might have happened if we didn't tell everyone about the monster? About the what? Through engineered and controlled crises, the elitists are hellbent on resetting society and forcing us into a sci fi dystopian control grid that we can never escape. Hal, uh, remind me to get lunch meat on my shopping list. I've added bugs to your shopping list. No, not bugs. Roast beef, turkey. Your family will eat bugs now. They are healthier. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Battalion 5, raise your hands. You will be the all-important first attack wave, which we will call Operation Human Shield. They want to bring us into their Chinese century. Hey, wait a minute. Now keep in mind, Operation Human Shield will suffer heavy losses. To bring us into their technocracy. You don't need a destination when you're running on an omnidirectional treadmill. The world. They're building the world in their image. Think about it. You control population, you destroy the family, and then you uh, create, the, you sow division. I mean, this is the playbook. This is, fa this is the fascist playbook. It has the potential of a civilizational destruction. <laughs> yeah, those people run the world. <laughs> They're so impressive. What a bunch of freaks. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, <laughs> all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. It's a hell and we're living in it. So I think your next uh, campaign slogan has to be this. We got to start eating babies. We don't have enough time. There's too much CO2. I can hear them. All of you, 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 you know, you're a pollutant. Too much CO2. Uh, we all knew this would happen. This day would come. But we were like trying to kind of stop it. We're like, we don't want it. everything destroyed before we have to rebuild it, you know? We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. We still have too many people, too much pollution. Pray that he is watching. You'll never, never defeat the human spirit. You'll never defeat God. You'll never win. Please, anyone, if you can hear me, if you're out there. What you're watching is not a political movement. It's evil. Stopping having babies is not enough. We need to eat the babies. I'm just very Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. Are we ready for a new world order? Who is here that they fear? Not man. Who is army? There's a certain part of the country that needed to hit bottom. You know, kind of like an alcoholic. You need to hit bottom. Yeah. To wake up and go, oh. 
The old dinosaur media isn't dying, it's dead. We are the new media. You understand? I need your help, Frank! I need your help, Frank! You know how much of a weird, delusory, cultural artifact that is going to be in, like, even five years? People are going to look back and go, what the f***? I don't ever want to see it again! What the f*** is right? this sh <laughs> And much less when kids who are born around this time get a little older, even, like, 10, 11, like, Daddy, why were you all bet f***ing insane? What was, oh, what, what yeah. the hell was Just this? tell them the truth. Just go, my young lad, that's because the WEF... We're testing their biological weapons on mankind <laughs> for when they're gonna skin try and kill everyone. How the hell did we get here? What do you think of these new inclusion standards for films? They make me vomit. How did we fall so far so fast? Because we just let it happen. They see this as war. Oh, son of a... Because we lazily acquiesce to it. Because we were too busy or too polite to fight back. What did it cost me? Everything. Pendulum is, is swinging a little bit, but I think a lot of people are acting like we've won. We ain't won shit. Uh, there's a long way to go. This is just a small step. You ain't seen nothing yet. There's no outside force coming to solve all of our problems. No superhero is going to defeat these supervillains. Who's with me? Let's go! Come on! And I, and I see the difference between both parties kind of being just one as a slower road towards destruction than the other. And as of late, it seems like the GOP as a whole is a controlled opposition. It merely appears to put up resistance while in reality it almost instantly caves to pressures and falls in line with the progressive agenda. And I'm not certainly not backing the Republican Party. I mean, ugh. The only group of people left for us to rely on is ourselves. Wake up, wake up the average ordinary person who is awakened from the mass mind control. Thank you, George Floyd, for sacrificing your life for justice. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a nasty person, I'll tell you. Being Hispanic or being black does not make you immune from being racist, from being radicalized, from being a white supremacist. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Should we implement another three month lockdown for the environment? Yeah, most certainly, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we are the ones who have seen through the agenda and persevered through the smears and the lies. Your son is a crackhead, Joe! <laughs> Gosh, this is great. President Business is gonna end the world? But he's such a good guy. So if we don't step up and win this culture war, then who the fuck will? Let's wake the fuck up! <clears throat> Infowars.com, Joe! Let's wake the fuck up. This is the war of our time. This is the most important battle of your time. It's the battle of information. Should we do a year lockdown? Yes, to change the mindset of people, yes. <laughs> In Octan, they make good stuff. Music, dairy products, coffee, TV shows, surveillance systems, all history books, voting machines. Wait a minute. Uh, the Fellowship has a lot to be thankful for, because you guys did like beat the shit out of a trillion dollar company. That's pretty impressive. Come here, think about that. They got put on their ass. Um, the Extremist would be the movie they make about like uh, everybody on Friday Night Tights. Yeah. Like, <laughs> me, you, like everybody who's like you know, <laughs> pro-freedom. I said, we never gatekeep because fandom's always been about accepting anyone in. Uh, three years later, I'm gatekeep the f out of everything. Nightshade's pronouns are they, them. He or she just doesn't fit who I am. My apologies. Just so you know, I'm queer, I'm here, and I'm gonna fuck up Disney Star Wars. You're getting clipped on that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't care. Protect it, gatekeep it. Somebody comes in, oh, I don't like that. Don't care, fuck off. Not for you then. Not for you. Turn around, what could he buy? Yeah, it's like just, just you know, speaking our minds and having a laugh. Like, oh, these people must be stopped. It's every year, you know it's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we lock so down the like... two months that we know and we prepare for it every year. Right, yeah, that, that's actually a good point. I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> no one is coming to save us but us. Come on, man. And we do that by bringing together the anti-woke nerds fighting in the culture war 
alongside the politically sane who are fighting in the front lines of the information war. You can't defeat me. No, I know. But he can. No. Wake up. If you want to live for the future, you stay inside. I'm going to break my monitor, I swear. Well, if I were you-know-who, I'd want you to feel cut off from everyone else. Because if it's just you alone, you're not as much of a threat. How did you decide to ban Alex Jones? Ah! It should have been me, not him! What users want from us, and what we've always provided them, is a curated platform. It's not fair! My audience is political in nature, and I think I think cultural secondarily. And these audiences may be cultural first, and then political secondarily. And I think that's important because we can all agree that Kamala Harris is real-life She-Hulk. Oh, because I'm better than you? We think that what the user wants is someone that does review these apps, someone that uh, does review the podcast. Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head, Neiman? Stop being gilded, domesticated garbage. This is why I am so vehement in the fact that the right needs to be, they need to um, divest. They need to uncouple from big tech companies. And I don't care how you do it. It means the advertising is algorithmic and it is determined by a handful of companies, all of whom are beholden to places like the WEF and international conglomerates and the ESG score and woke bullshit. They're not interested in actually pairing advertisers with the right users. They want to manipulate and engineer the behavior of the users. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wake up! I didn't say anything. You just did. Your voice, it's cluttering up my space. Get out. Look at this shit. Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. We're going to get naked. No. Woo. We are... mm. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. This is what you've been waiting for. Be the one we need. Do not come. I'm going to come. Delaware County Councilman Ryan Webb announced that he now identifies as an Indian American woman. Wake up. <laughs> as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. You want some more? Huh? Folks, you've been around white people on average? White people are watching TV all day with their thumbs up their ass. I mean, nothing against white people. I wish they'd get off the bench and be, well, yeah, be, be innovating a people again. Transgender children should be free. <laughs> the white people ain't out to get you. They're trying to kiss your ass because they feel guilted by the same system telling them they're white supremacists. Those arguments have become so stale and so pathetic that they have no one on their side anymore. Even the normies have seen how bad the identity politics stuff is. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer <laughs> All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. If we can step up and protect our nerd culture, anime has a satanic vibe. What could he buy? While creating alternative entertainment in a parallel economy, there'll be a roadmap on how to save everyone and everything. Wait, save the cheerleader, save the world. Come on, this is a misunderstanding. I'm just a regular, normal, ordinary guy. Hollywood and the media and this identity politics focused stuff is destroying everything. And everybody is woke, has finally uh, awoken up to it. Get the f out of bed, bitch, go. In the most leftist areas, they're even converting. And there is a real global awakening. There is a great awakening happening as the counter to the Great Reset. Although Hollywood is funded to include social engineering, because that's what it is. this is. This is social engineering. We don't take a political stand. We're not leaning one way or the other. Uh, that doesn't compute. They are not funded to the level that they can live on that on their own. If the audience just walks away, their ESG money isn't going to support the entire studio system. They need the favor of the audience too. You got that? <laughs> It's actually uh, your world and my world together that was able to like rip the Disney kingdom asunder. And now when they're losing that, that's kind of like when the other shoe's about to drop. 
that's when you have the potential for a, for a renaissance. What the mainstream media did was created a, a massive market, a monster, and they created their uh, their own extinction. The old dinosaur media isn't dying, it's dead. We are the new media. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Because now, like, you know, you take out Tim Pool, there'll be 10 people to take his place. They might not get as big as Tim Pool, but you got those 10 people combined will probably be as big as Tim Pool. And that's how it's going to go. Like, you take somebody out, they get replaced. People don't want networks. They don't, they don't want corporate establishment, Disney or Hollywood or any of that. They want authenticity. They want reality. They want pro-human information. Let's do it. We're here at Target. Let's go in and see what they got going on for Pride Month. This is not, nice. you guys see this? It's tough friendly. Right here at the front, there's the exit, there's the Starbucks conveniently, and we know where Starbucks stands. We have glad you came out, and I'm so happy that you're queer in the kids section. Are you kidding me? They say that grooming isn't happening, then why are there Pride baby onesies? This is, Target is so progressive. I love it. I'm sorry, but pride and toddler don't belong in the same sentence. No, oh, it's not even Pride Month yet. Trans people will always exist. This is the ugliest shirt I've ever seen. I would like to talk to the design team. Cool, I can exercise in this. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Toddler tutu for all your kids going to pride parades with drag queens. Your favorite pride parade gingerbread float. Super queer. It's like a it's like a superpower. It's not a phase, Dad. This is designed by an artist in the United Kingdom who actually identifies as a trans Satanist. Did you know that was a movement? Because I didn't. Satan, Satan and pride. You support Satan? Mm -hmm. If that doesn't give you a reason to boycott Target, I don't know what does. But this shit's getting out of hand. They're targeting children, whether you like it or not. And it's time that people actually do something about it. Because if they don't, then guess what? That shit won't just be in Target, it'll be in every store, ever. It's just disturbing. You know, I'm glad they moved it to the back of the store because no kid should be seeing this in front. <sighs> I'm all tucked in. We're getting it. Can't wait to wear this around the pool. Well, let me show you. Hey, it's me, Patagonia, a real-life homosexual, and today I'm here with the North Face. Pure evil. Nature lets you be who you are. Even gay. Hi! Don't you think this is all a little intense? <laughs> we like to call this little tour the Summer of Pride. I just can't do it. I can't. The political right are trapped under the delusion that just waiting to vote Republican or conservative every couple of years will save them. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. It has not. He's a retard or something. It has only pacified and neutralized them. Almost nothing has been conserved. But when he's taking Disney's side against me, I just kind of wonder, like, okay, I get he wants to hit me, but don't take the side of a multinational corporation that wants to sexualize kids. My name's Nick. I want to carry on as apprentices. I'm here to shop you around and make all your selections for the day. That's pretty yay. Look, Pim, I know it's our job to help this guy and everything, but I think this guy's a lost cause. Do you know what I am saying? This is why I don't identify with Republicans at all because they, they, they just sit on the fence. Up and people calories. that sit on the fence are never gonna get Appeasement anything done. Appeasement has never yep. solved anything. Yeah. I, I, I agree awesome. with you 100%. But as most of our viewers know, the right in America has completely failed to stop the less incessant march of progress. With one uniparty controlling everything, I almost cringe at myself using the dichotomy of left versus right these days. It seems like an oversimplification of the argument, right? Liberal versus conservative, left versus right. I mean, really, it's just a matter of whether you're part of the insurgency or you're part of the machine. There's a time people have to grow up. Do you know what I'm saying? Most of them are just part of the same old schism on the same yep. fucking side. Global industrial complex. Yep. 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 Uniparty. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? Both political parties and their donors have reached consensus on what benefits them 
and they actively collude to shut down any conversation about it. And the point of the team, as you said, is to verify video, to fact check, to counter disinformation. Suddenly, the United States looks very much like a one-party state. The point is to destroy Western civilization from within using Maoist techniques. Why does this matter? Well, mistruths can cause really serious harm to society and to the people in them. And then the Tory response is, oh, well, you know, that, yeah, that might be the case, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to censor you so that you can't talk about it. And governments and central banks across the world are working together, looking into what having a digital currency might mean in practice. You're a scammer! You're a schemer! We're living in like a dystopian hellscape mm -hmm. right now. And then the follow-on Tory response is going to be, oh, uh, and by the way, you have to vote for me because all of these things that I'm doing that you don't like, Labour is going to do all of them as well, only slightly faster. So therefore you have to vote for me. I don't know. This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard. At the moment, I'm investigating the UK's conspiracy theory movement. I'm trying to understand more about how it's evolved and intensified since uh, the pandemic here in the UK. Woke is Marxism, evolved to attack the West. If you don't understand that, you will not act correctly. You will not cure it. Three. And it will conquer your countries. It will conquer all of Europe, and we will have a very, very long, sustainable, an inclusive future with absolutely no freedom. You, you now make a point of, that's, a, that's an investment criteria for you. Well, behaviors are gonna to have to change, and this is one thing we're, gonna, we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. Because the goal is to make us into what they call global citizens. I'm looking at the alternative media that finds itself at the heart of this movement. While the politically sane have been disenfranchised and disillusioned as voters, as customers and nerds, we actually have power in the culture by voting with our wallets and by sharing our unfiltered opinions. And I've got to say, in all honesty, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. Once again, proving that bullying gets results. Remember the swamp? Remember my song in the swamp when I was like, wham, chicka, wham, wham, chicka, wham, wham. I remember. What the hell was that? Because I know that I'm a gay fish, gay fish. I recognized yesterday, uh, I made a post that was hurtful to the Pride community, which includes friends of mine and close family members of mine. And I am truly sorry for that. This is why you never, ever back down to these people. You never give up your sensible nature. You never give up your logic. Let's burn this mother down! And you gatekeep the f out of your franchises. It's mine! Because people like this come in and they want to ruin it. And as of right now, I'm using the Blue Jays resources to better educate myself, to make better decisions moving forward. Uh, the ballpark is for everybody. Uh, we include all fans at the ballpark and we, we want to welcome everybody. Only if you back down do you show that they have power. But when you stand up to pathetic bullies like this, when you say that two-letter word which is so important, no. then this is what they have to do. Everybody who disagrees with me is Hitler. Everything is sexist, everything is racist, everything is homophobic, and you have to point it all out. I hate this channel. Fuck him. But it's so stupid. It's like, stop stealing, you know, all the white people's superheroes. Like, make up your own. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what's up with that? Yes. Brown people are so in right now. <laughs> I guarantee if I don't give a damn person, about your skin oh, color. Really? No. Why would really? I care what color your skin is? Really? I just think you're an idiot. Oh, thank you. You jackass! I, I got myself prepared for this evening by watching uh, videos of black women crash a target. <laughs> <laughs> I care about the fact that you've been terrorizing all these people for a sustained period of time. I'm looking at the way that alternative media is funded. I'm looking at its impact on local communities. I'm looking at its connections with far right figures. If you want to know what your future looks like if we don't stop the woke, look at China. Hi, yeah. Uh, the day finally arrived. Uncle Roger talked too much. Mm. And now all my Chinese social media suspended. Look at the social credit system. Look at the oppression. Look at people disappearing for having the wrong opinions. They send us to the, the land of misfit YouTubers. Yes, yeah. an island where we have to like break up rocks with <laughs> pickaxes in a chain gang. Master got me working. Someday master set me free. Dude, shut up.
So why are you here today? We're here because um, the school planned on having an assembly to talk to our kids about matters that we think that the kids are too young to um, talk about just yet. I saw a tweet and I didn't like what I was seeing, man. Okay, it, it, I, I saw I saw parents bra brawling in front of a fucking school with kids. It, it, I just didn't I just didn't I just didn't fucking like it. I'm sure, a lot of you guys can understand how that that video would piss some people off. It pissed me off. Um, and why is it bad for these children to be exposed to this sort of ideology? Well, because they're too young to talk about sex. I'm gonna be very very careful here. I don't want to piss anybody off. I'm making a lot of people mad. Most of my intention. Absolutely blew my mind that Call of Duty. Activision made the decision to pull Nick Merckx's skin and bundle off the game. My wife and I just had a baby. Brand, brand new father. You know, we, we, we seen these kinds of videos. It's, it's, it's sad, you know. I mean, Nick's, he's one of us. He's one of us streamers, right? I mean, to get your own skin and bundle and that whole collaboration on the biggest shooter franchise out there but her and i agree that we we want to be the ones to talk to our kid about things like that we just don't think that seven-year-olds are ready to um have those discussions yet i'm trying to keep it really simple just so we don't have to get too crazy about it because there's nothing to get crazy about it's just it, it really is that simple they're here to learn and they're here to play and they're not here to be sexualized and talk about topics that are beyond them right now. You know, the video bothered me, right? And just like that, he made it, got it in there, and they pulled it down. That's a fucking tough one, man. For what again? I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's the place to speak about things like that. It's not that I think that it shouldn't be spoken about. Right, I, I hear them screaming no more hate. We have not hated anyone. If that's what you got from that tweet, then you're just wrong. You're just wrong. That decision by COD's PR marketing team. <laughs> um, it wasn't an anti, I guess, gay, gay, gay tweet. That wasn't what it was also are not protesting them. We're protesting the LAUSD and the school for talking to our kids about a topic that we think parents should talk to their kids about. Now listen, if you have issues with me or if you have issues with that tweet, then hey, listen, I'm down to agree to disagree. But if you think that I hate you because you're, you're a certain way, you just couldn't be any more wrong. That's not the truth. So there's no hate against anyone. We love them just as much as they love us. I know him, bro. And I truly do not think he meant to hurt anyone with what he said. I just simply feel that I want to be the one and my wife wants to be the one to speak with our child about stuff like that. And that was that was that was the tweet. That was the tweet. There's all kinds of issues that are not topics to discuss with young kids. We can talk about that when they're old enough. You can take the tweet if you want and you can spin it, flip it, flop it. You can do whatever you want to it to make you feel better if that's what you want to do. But that was the tweet, okay? Oh, holy shit, Activision. What we gotta do. Is uninstall the game. I am the great Winifred. She, her. Why are you the way that you are? There is a, a, a great wave of pushback now. Is it true you had to have sex with Vladimir Putin to get released from Russia, Brit? Get out of the way, dog. Brit. It's really good to see. And it's necessary. It's really necessary. Looks like people are beginning to wake up. This is the beginning of climate lockdowns. We will have in years to come, days when we're told we can't drive, we can't do this, we can't do that. And Sadiq Khan is leading the way. Remember, you heard it here first, climate lockdowns. The line has been shifted and shifted and shifted, and it's got to a position now where people, regular people, are just like, whoa, 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 whoa. No. No. I just want to lie on the beach and eat hot dogs. That's all I've ever wanted. Leave me alone! <laughs> ah! Akira! We have so much more power culturally than politically. 
and it's so much easier to reach the average person through culture and comedy than through wonky and depressing politics. Her disbruised dad like went down the alt-right pipeline by watching uh, uh, my video in, in <laughs> Critical Drinker. Oh. <laughs> Hail disbruised dad. Empowerment. He fucks. They use they them pronouns and they pick an exceptionally good quiche. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Enough is enough. It's gone too far. Normal people are starting to realize that normal people are starting to push back. This is a pivotal moment in the history of the Western world. The bottom line is, even these idiots over here, no! Comic skate is basically um, the term that describes an affiliation of comic book creators and fans who are tired of woke in comics. We love comic books. We're not going to support uh, the mainstream anymore with our money. We're gonna make our own comics and we're gonna use social media to promote these comics and crowdfunding to be able to fund them. They need our money more than ever. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. I think the Bud Light situation showed and finally proved people that they can make a difference. Well, that, that's the point so, I've been making for yeah. 15 years, you know what I mean? Like, all you've done, big boy, is put a little fuel on the fire. I truly believe that nerds can save the world, that we can become the protagonist in our own sci-fi story. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of power in that, that I think a lot of people don't really th understand that they have more so in numbers. And I think as folks that are just not, just normal, let's say just normal people, start realizing how much power they have and just sheer buying power. I declare bankruptcy! So y'all see the Xbox drop the Pride logo? Like they yes. took it down after Backlash? Yes. After four days, three, three or four days, they changed it. Maybe, hey, maybe we're making progress. We're, dr we're dropping it down to Pride Week. <laughs> Soon it'll just be Pride Day. I'm so proud of this community. People are beginning to uh, stand up and uh, they're beginning to, uh, to say no. And I've been shouting this for years now, literally shouting. Oh, well, you gotta do this? No. You gotta think this way? No. You gotta accept this? No. I use they, them pronouns as well. No, you don't. No, you don't. Honestly, where does it end with you people? I've fallen and I can't get up. Gentlemen, start your screaming. <laughs> I, I wish we could afford to build a different Hollywood. It just needs to be broken up and we can just, nice. uh, Hollywood can be our bedroom. We have the intelligence and talent to create our own culture. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. I like all of these people coming up and making their own shit. We need to all make our own stuff. This is the year that people really pivot to individual content creators. Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. Everything has changed. Now they're gonna try to rein it in. They're gonna try to claw it back in as much as they can. And they're gonna scream and yell and try to demonize YouTubers and demonize podcasters. You mouth breathing, basement dwelling, cousin, cousin humper, humping motherfuckers. Worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. These devices and these platforms are being used by radical Republicans to destroy and undermine our democracy and environment. That boy ain't right. Celebration cringe. Are you retarded? <laughs> Star Wars celebration been a thing since 199. 199? I just got this stream on my recommended for some reason. Stop being reactionaries. <laughs> it takes an advanced sense of humor. I don't expect everybody to understand. People have excused and justified, like just continuing to, to, to consume because they think it's inevitable. It's like, well, we don't have any power. And I'm like, you've got way more power than you like to think it is. I have one condition. Yeah. No more quitting. Time is a gift, I say. What are you gonna do with yours? This is the worst. <laughs>
You know you're a creative type. You want to deal with numbers and back end and business? It's exhausting. Yeah, I have to do it. I, I know. know I don't want to do it. I have to. So I'm building this technology. But right. like yeah. boring. That's what Jeremy Boring and why is. Why have to do it? I, I, why? Because we need a new subscription service for creators. It shouldn't fall upon you though. I have two questions. Well, you're willing to do it. do it. Yeah, let's do it. Exactly. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not going to stop there. No. What are you waiting for? Do it. And I will say to everybody listening, it's you. It will only ever be you. When you see a burning building, you think, who's going to call this in? No, 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 no. No one's going to call it in. It's going to be you. Good talking and do it. These companies thought they had a moat. They thought they had, you know, this unassailable economic position where nobody could replace them, right? Never go full retard. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. We are the media now, bitches. Look at me. Look, Look at me. We, we are the media. Yep. Same thing in the comics industry. They thought they're Laffy Taffy. They thought all yep. that stuff was going to bounce off, that there's no replacement, there's no alternatives. Well, guess what? They're all alternatives now. In fact, there's alternatives that just say, hey, look, we want to focus on making a good product, right? When honest people say what's true, calmly and without embarrassment, they become powerful. Woo! At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. It's called Mariana in Conspiracy Land, uh, and it will be available on BBC Sounds, Radio 4, asking that question, could January the 6th or a German coup attempt like we saw um, there ever happen here in the UK? Are you optimistic or are you pessimistic? I'm thinking Shane I'm is pessimistic. I'm psychotically optimistic. <laughs> really? Always. always. So that's and a pretty think, pessimistic statement. I think as dark as it gets, yeah. it, it, it will test you as an individual mm -hmm. and it will test the country. and. At some point, it'll bounce back. I might not get to see it, but I'm doing my best so that my kids can and hopefully their kids can. So mm -hmm. you have to be. Yeah. If you, I think if you buy into the pessimism, you're done. Yeah. Like there's no future in that. So if if, the, if the situation was hopeless, the propaganda wouldn't be necessary. Yeah. And it's probably the first big example that we've seen of people just saying no more and it actually like hurting, hurting a company because of it. And uh, Disney's maybe right behind them. We'll see. <laughs> The destruction of our culture will give a rise to better culture. The degenerate weirdos will make more normies wake up daily. So as long as we don't give up, so as long as we create something that isn't destroyed by crazies, we will prevail. And yes, it's gonna be met with resistance. And yes, it's good. there's gonna be pushback. Nerd! Nerd! But you just got to push back harder. Because right now, it's been a stack of dominoes just getting knocked over. The line just being whooshed so far forward. Well, now it's time to hold it. And now it's time to push back. Stop giving up. It's only just begun now! You know, you're just going to see that their hubris is what is their downfall, that they were unassailable. Yes, you can! I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Just do it! Hail to the 199 and the fellowship. Let's go. There is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. Do me a favor. You racist pieces of sh They like couldn't decide what box they wanted to check. It's like, do we need a strong female character? Do we need a strong brown female character? Black uh, female character? You know what? F*** it. Let's just do all of them. And go and find one of your echo chamber websites where you can all stand around and f*** each other off while you tilt your head backs and go, woke, 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 woke. woke. <laughs> this is Kiwi's Playhouse? Jesus. <laughs> the wafer says, what's a super chat fight? What you're watching right now. And then you can come on each other's faces and tell each other that come on your face cleanses you of wokeness. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> what? Jalen Moore just dropped 500 f***ing dollars. You add an extra zero in there. You racist pieces of $500 super chat. Jalen Moore wanted to be the winner of the Super I, Chat fight. I don't... I'm on a personal mission. I want to purge 30,000 of my subscribers off my channel by the... within the next 48 hours. 
the super chat war between the alpha, the avatars and the alphabets has begun. I figure there's got to be at least 30,000 of you knuckle draggers around there. So please just leave my channel. Don't come back. Don't watch my stuff. I'm sorry to break this to you. Number one in the United Let's States of America. Go. Holy crap. Let's Number go. one in the United States of America. The 199 representing woke woke almost 1300 new members uh 3700 in super chats what a wow. crazy stream woke woke on what planet do we live in where we are on the number one show i want to purge 30,000 of my subscribers and it's collapsing the entire industry what, what the, the hell, hell? Uh, Jeremy osteen is loving this chat today Jeremy osteen has blessed all of you a big wah men. Ryan, read it! Mouse for $400 because I missed the super chat battle. I, I think that's a think good description. Those. The activist furries have taken over <laughs> pop culture. Oh, it's they, well, they think it belongs to them, certainly. Thanks to all the geeks and nerds with lucrative careers. Alec Baldwin's finger just dropped a 50. Mage dropped another 20. As well as the conservative entrepreneurs. Where you can get your very own copy of the yes or no game. We have the skills and the funding to create our own culture and economy. Customers like you, so there's there's like uh, the, the big customers at a comic shop, depending on the size of the shop, shop, there's like 10 or 20. Yeah. You carry the entire shop. Yeah. And you can tell what Mark's going for, expensive imported cheeses. Cam on the Streamlab side, ladies and gentlemen of both genders, for five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. What? Wow. Moon walked right out of the saloon, double doors. Didn't say anything. You are the hardcore fan, and that was that was all of Hollywood's big mistake. They thought Marvel and DC thought they could move past the hardcore fan. Yeah, didn't something. give a crap about us anymore. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> Bashy Washy has gifted twenty neurotic memberships for one hundred dollars. Holy. <laughs> And not another dime. Just gave out a lot of dimes. We're the ones who shepherd the new fans in. Facts. We're the ones. The whales. Yeah. They're the first people that you should be watching. It's like seeing yourself for the first time in full Snow White drag. Get woke, go bro. <laughs> I love that description. It's perfect. <laughs> You ruined everything! You couldn't stop being cheap, even for me! Mage Demon, who, by the way, gifted approximately 140 members in my Conan stream earlier today. Gifted 10 memberships there. Another one. Then Mage Demon gifted another 10 memberships there. And God blesses everyone. How are they feeling about the industry? How are they feeling about the, book, the books we're putting out? because once they're gone, then the whole industry falls. No. And you're not gonna have, you're not gonna have the kid that walks in and, and buys whatever off the shelf because there's no store anymore. No. It's completely gone. It's gone. Dicky P just gifted oh, five man. more, like show him what for. God damn for. Then fucking Jesse Ritchie gifted five more, and then fucking Vodka gifted five more. Another one. The Go Pimple wild. Army, Go it's wild. unrelenting over there, over there. Mage Demon gifted 10 more gifted memberships. What the fuck is happening right now? Another one. This is why we didn't see him for a while because he got really hammered and accidentally ran up his entire fucking credit card bill and then like <laughs> didn't have any money. He was just fucking like eating out of trash bins or something after that. Mage Demon with the $5 says, keep my name out of your effing mouth. Another one. Thank you for being the shining light that leads us through the darkness. Enoch Maman, abuser of Streamlabs for $50. 50, 50. Marcus Henry for 50. 50. Uh, 50. It is That's how fucked our world is, by the way, when we're the shining light. <laughs> just say it. You pimps are just fucking, you're, you're hunting down the draft dodgers. Another one. You guys are the shining light. You guys are the shining light. You're welcome. <laughs> Page team with another 50 Australian. <laughs> Says, love you guys. This one is for the mortgage. You already did a mortgage one. And another one. That was a uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. No 
know in the comment section down below. And so I thought we'd talk about the Wikipedia definition of the word woman. I'm obviously looking for people that work hard and that cover things that might not always get the good graces of monetization that need sponsorships to stay around and to pay their bills and support their families. That you never turn your back on family. I like my coffee dark. I'm kind of like Ethan in that my uh, industry got really mad at me for having the wrong politics. Why, are, are people bitching about that? Some people. Of course yeah. they are. Oh, fucking A. All right, got it. Yeah, too fucking bad. All right. Yeah. And I'm starting to get real pissed off. Now, now certainly, going independent and leaving the big successful industry, certainly you're not making lots of money off of this <laughs> venture, I'd imagine. First one made $1.2 million. The second <laughs> one made $1.45 million. <laughs> so it's actually doing better. It's doing great. This is crowdfunding. <laughs> Woo! Wow! Yahoo! Wee! But you know what? I kind of like you when you're angry. Could you come back with even more fire? Are you feeling it? I'm, d I'm starting to get real pissed off. Oh. But uh, I didn't let that hold me back, and I've been uh, having a lot of fun with that since. Got my uh, band base. They're awesome. And, uh, you know, just out there trying to, like, stir up trouble and, and have fun and get artists to make art the way they want to make art. Looking for trouble? You came to the right place. Well, I'm the Joker, baby! <laughs> when the whole demonetization thing happened a week and a half ago, I, I was terrified. The British clearing banks are now working with some of the credit agencies to put in place word checks on the social media accounts of their customers. Wow. Seeing the support we got on Rumble and Kick was just insane. And um, so shout out to all of you guys. Appreciate the support. We are literally on the verge of this happening. We really, really, really have to start shouting. Man, I got nothing quippy to say in the beginning. Let's just talk about the heavy movie of the week or year. Very heavy movie. I tell you this, you need to get yourself checked. You see this movie and you don't feel nothing. If you would have told anybody a couple months ago that Sound of Freedom would be challenging Indiana Jones at the box office, they probably all would have told you you were crazy. What's Sound of Freedom? I'd never even heard about this movie until a couple days ago. I saw it in the comment section. People were like, why don't you review Sound of Freedom? I was like, what's that? I, what is that? First of all, the theater was packed. Word of mouth seems to be getting around. And it's been very interesting, the reaction in the media to that film. Like, they are doing everything they can to stamp that one out. And it's weird because it's just having the exact opposite effect. Thank you for covering Sound of Freedom each day. It's making a difference. I saw it on 7.5 and gave $500 in tickets before leaving the movie. After I got wow. paid, I donated a whole movie screening for a thousand. Wow. And I think it was a mistake for Angel Studios to release this film. It's 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 the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in the media, perhaps. It's because of its its relationship to the right-wing conspiracies. That's the whole reason that it isn't getting any traction. And this film is being marketed to either specific QAnon believers or to people who believe all of the same tenets as QAnon, but claim they don't know what it is. I saw a couple of thumbnails and titles saying that it was propaganda. Uh, Sound of Freedom is uncomfortably close to several right-wing conspiracies and the associated groups. I don't know why. Um, why, because it's a white guy? That saved the kids. Is that why? Are you going to see uh, the sound of freedom? Nah, no interest in it. All right, what's next? It's it's weird. It's very strange that all of a sudden a movie about protecting children is somehow just so inherently far right, yeah. and a statement like "leave children alone" is somehow an anti-LGBTQ <laughs> message, right? It really makes you wonder where things are headed here if that side is labeling these things as such. Conservative content is becoming quite popular, driven not just by white audiences, but also by a number of Latinos. No, the border's open. That is just an inventory of just human beings coming in. And it's like for, for them to say that it's cute and it's fake, it's like they're almost, they don't want people messing with their influx of children. And you might be like, well, what about things on the far left? Well, there aren't as many, cons I don't really can't even think of any far left conspiracies, to be honest with you. These films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at cute on concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites. They go through so, so much. Also, they can bring us children. 
I hunt pedophiles. I've been hunting them for 20 years, and they are watching this, and they're salivating. They are happy that Rolling Stones and The Guardian are ripping on a movie that exposes them. You're not just going to see a movie, you're just killing two hours on a hot day. You are helping bring down these, these pedophile rings and save children. Now, it's not true, but it's a very comforting and it's a very warm feeling to have. So I don't like the fact that these media outlets are in fact, wittingly or unwittingly, running interference for human traffickers and pedophiles. Again, heavy subject matter. So if this is a one-time viewing, totally get it. But I do believe it is worth that one viewing. Just go see it when you get a chance. Go see it. After the success in the United States, no one can stop this movement. Protect your children at all costs. What has kept you guys going? Ooh, man, for me, it's uh, obviously family, my, my, my lovely wife, and just the fact that what we're doing is impactful. Today, I feel 80% female. 20% male. I'm going to I'm going to put on makeup. Yeah, Space Monkey 0899 says the corporal behavior uh reminds me of cyberpunk. Um, tomorrow I might feel 80% male. I'll remove the makeup and I'll wear a muscle shirt. Okay, interesting thing from Twisted Metal. This is going to be fun. We're ready. Opening episode, we have uh John Doe, Anthony Mackie going to New San Francisco. One man, one male feminist enters, and only one man will leave, and it'll be this f***ing man. As he's approaching the city, it's homeless tents and stuff. I'm like, oh, it looks like um, San Francisco. 100%. Why do you care? If you live in San Francisco, do you feel this way all the time? I don't feel safe, <laughs> ever. I literally never feel safe. It's better when it's daylight. But nighttime, no, not leaving my house. San Francisco is lost. It's literally turning into escape from LA right before our eyes. It was supposed to look like a dystopian San Francisco, and it looks like San Francisco right now. I'm actually a little cleaner. We are living in a corporatized country. You are you are living in corporatism, and the globe is about to get there, which is very authoritarian. I'm at Whole Foods, and I'm about to pay for my groceries with my... And you will live in a form of squalor if this continues that you, most people are not prepared for. This is for your own good. What business it is it of yours to require that I fulfill your inability to think of gender on a spectrum? I'm telling you, I'm getting the fuck off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the fuck off. I'm cured. Praise God. Diversity is our strength as a nation and as an army. I was like, how about fuck off? <laughs> You are not cured yet, boy. Narcissistic, power-hungry egomaniacs bent on reshaping the world in their own grotesque image. Why are they making it so easy for us right now in Hollywood? Oh, oh no! Wow, holy fuck! I don't give two fucks! <laughs> Bob Iger actually owns Geeks and Games. Apparently yeah. so. Yeah. I've never been in so many investment banker meetings, but everybody wants to know what our ESG, how responsible we're being with the society and economy and DI, all this stuff. My social media manager joked about this. It's like, are we sure that these guys aren't actually working for us? It's like, sometimes it's hard to tell. So let's pull out my hair donuts. And just like that, it kind of looks like I have many ears. No! <laughs> You're back there is not real. Why do the people that hate us think that coming in our chat is going to hurt? Why, why do they think this? What is wrong I think with MCU you? fan is actually like a fan. You like, think I, so? think, I think he, that's my guess because he's made us so much fucking money. <laughs> I, I'm just too dumb to give up. <laughs> <laughs> I Tenacious. Love I think it's the term. Yeah. What are people saying about the crisis in Wakanda? They saying like, it's like a big catastrophe, like it's a lot of bad things happening over there. When all of us kind of started talking about all this stuff several years ago, I don't know any of us thought that there would be something as bad as this Indiana Jones situation. Never. This is crazy. The original cartoon came out in 1937, and very evidently so. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. It's yeah. glorious. It's fucking great. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It couldn't happen to a nicer company. It <laughs> needed to happen. You got to hit bottom. There is a big focus on her love story, 
um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> Disney is dying. And no, I don't care if Dis I don't want Disney to succeed. I hope they burn in hell. Weird. Weird. Screw them. Yeah, uh, I'd love for them to sell their stuff, but we we know we're now we just need original things. So we didn't do that this time. Shut up! You fucking retarded! What the hell's the matter with you? I'm not gonna deny that I dropped my fair share of hard R's back then. Wait a minute! I'm so fast, you couldn't even comprehend how fast I am. Should Wakanda be forced to share their vibranium? Um, no. Why? It's theirs. It belongs to their country. As union strikes shut down Hollywood and online news sites collapse, we creators and commentators have a unique opportunity to take the mainstream media's market share. As they self-destruct, we can replace them. Okie dokie, Dr. Joe's horny and potatoes. F Holy f It's my show now, baby! Okay, all right, you can have it. No, no, you can have it, man. You can, you can have the show. This, this is yeah, pathetic. These Bruce reviews get more views than the people who watch the show. Tails, you live. And heads, you don't. Look, this series went out the same way it went in. Hating Batman. You know what I mean? Make up a scream! Boo, you suck! Making new alliances, new friendships, recognizing that the establishment now is quaking, waning, falling apart, and the new systems are being born. It wasn't that long ago when we thought Disney was on fucking top of the world. You know, everybody made a joke about the mouse and then buying fucking everything, and everybody thought everything was going to be owned by Disney. That wasn't that long ago. Like, what well, we thought they couldn't miss. They were crapping out billion dollar films. And now we're having this conversation to where. I don't know if they're gonna be around in the same capacity uh, in the next in the next year. Do. Not at this, not at this rate. What's up, Pooh? Oh, oh my God, he's wrong. How can you be a fast communist? Uh, Ripperverse, Eric July's coming. Oh yeah, up. Ripperverse. Oh, wow. Yeah, why don't you guys, you know, make, yeah, make we, we we somebody can connect us. Yeah. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. And then really make a movie based on these characters. Could be fun. And take over the superhero genre away from the weird stuff that's been going on. True. I don't often get feedback from the 18 to 35 female demographic. Why does Donald Trump dislike the Wakandans so much? Should I say it? What are Isom's powers? <laughs> I don't Did know. I didn't read the book. Them. He resists the urge to loot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Twitter. We do not have writers on this show, if you guys couldn't tell. They're still on strike, so we're working on bringing them back. We need some scabs in here. It's Hollywood, baby. Because they are not his color. <laughs> Orange. Parents are just kind of pretty sick of it. I think that's why Disney is continuing to struggle, and they will keep struggling as long as Disney doesn't accept that they are not actually parental figures. <laughs> They see themselves as that, though. Yeah. It's the same type of ivory tower mindset that all of these people have, right? Woke is an illiberal ideology. It's an authoritarian ideology. And it's a collectivist ideology. It's not just that they're making their entertainment for you and that you should just take whatever they serve and enjoy it, that they know what's best for you and your children. And so it's just a really incredible story for, I think, young people everywhere to see themselves in. Snow White is running for president. <laughs> I'm launching my campaign. <laughs> I am. Female executives at these companies who don't actually have children of their own right. are using media to indo indoctrinate and teach children. Not at all secret gay agenda. Which is like, I guess their surrogate child is like the audience that they have control over. Yeah. I think people are becoming more aware, especially normies, are becoming more aware of this cultural kind of kind of rot. Mm -hmm. And I, I think a lot of it has to do with kind of the, the <laughs> them kind of overplaying with the with the whole children stuff i think that that did it for him and i think yeah. for mm -hmm. that was the that was the subject matter where some people were like okay something isn't right uh, hi everyone i've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things probably a couple hundred million dollars in terms of losses for for lucasfilm um even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what i want to say i mean this is calamitous the first movie that they've even put out in what four years i'm not a groomer i'm 
just a loser. And it loses them hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, yeah. where can they possibly go from here? Fuck me, right? Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? Go woke, get choked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. I make joke. I <laughs> tweet that one, motherfucker. I dare you. I'll do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, you know what? Wait, come okay. on, man. Come no, 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 on, no, 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 no. I'm going to get out of this part right, right now. Come on, we please. Please. Go woke. <laughs> get <laughs> choked. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. That's, uh, that's out there now. <laughs> you better thank Dave Chappelle. Thank you, Dave. And I like your show. Run! Run! I like your Turn that part of your brain off that gets offended by f***ing everything. I'm sorry. I just don't care anymore. Let's all be serious. If that if that joke, you know, triggered you in any way, you best all get on by out of here. Because we ain't got time for no snowflakes. Late night shows have not been on air for over three months and literally no one misses them. Nope. I, we're getting a lot of holdovers from the woke era and it's dying, it is dying. It doesn't mean like woke's gonna go away forever. It just means the paradigm is shifting throughout entertainment. I just don't think Hollywood can keep up. Well, what it means is that uh, the studios have lost so much money now that they realize they can't keep doing that. Sh nope. Woke Hollywood ain't going anywhere anytime soon, but it's, it's starting to get destroyed. Displacement colonialism, gentrification. Those are things that are real threats. I could care less. I'll fucking fight any communist that ever fell out of an asshole. It shows me that media has changed now. That Tucker Carlson chose our organization as the place to make these revelations is an indication that the mainstream is kind of over. People are gonna look back at this and just go, <laughs> why? What was in the water? What was going on? I know. On? Everybody's afraid of losing their job. I'm gonna say hormones. <laughs> Trying to turn the frogs game. We fight this dystopian system with a decentralized, grassroots, nonviolent revolution of nerds and the politically sane. We should find the people who did this. And curse their families and watch as misfortune, misfortune follows their bloodline for the next seven generations. Okay, I see it now. Jeremy, I love the quartering. I love Salty Cracker. I love it all. And I was actually watching your show uh, yesterday and you said, I've been trying to get Alex Jones on. Mm -hmm. And so I called my producer and I said, why am I not on this show? I watch it all the time, it's huge. Not, not only have you softened me on libertarianism, you've softened me on comic books. I, it's very impressive, Eric, thank you for coming on. <laughs> if you're looking for Elon to save the day, you're, you're going to be in trouble. If you're looking for Trump to just swoop in and save the day. If, you're, if you think the military, ain't, ain't no single entity going to swoop in and save the day. You are going to be continuously let down if you place all of your hope into one individual. Instead, look inside and look around. We're doing this together. I found Midnight's Edge. I found all these other amazing creators out there and, and, and I made a channel. They inspired me to make a channel. They, they, were, they were saying the things I was saying. I was like, there needs to be an army of this. This is what they're afraid of. They're afraid of one voice. Imagine. Get a mic. Jump aboard. Yeah. Join us. Yeah. I can't handle how alive I am right now in the fight against these tyrants. We are legion. There, I'll freak them out with that. The the FNT beauty, Cinematic the Universe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've all got our own little channels, so we technically are. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Well, it's like the super friend. I want to be deadly serious here. I've not been this excited ever. Oh, yeah, Mug Club, baby. Wow. Boom, headshot. Technology and communications has changed the world. This enables decentralized media and indeed political models to thrive. The establishment cannot afford or allow that. The independent decentralization is actually winning and the cult is being pushed back. Ethan and Eric July are probably the are two fantastic examples oh, yeah. of people that are proving that it can be done on your own. Are you working uh, with Eric? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I'm over it, man. I'm like, I'm ready for like the independent stuff to rise up, man. I think that's just, that's exciting to me. It's time to move on from this. Good God, uh, we need new artists. We need Get new artists, there. we need new things. You can't do that anymore.
it's awesome that you guys have your own projects going on, but you guys are inspiring so many other people who maybe thought about it, but they were like, eh, I don't know, I can never be these big. And then they're seeing guys like you doing these independent projects and they're like turning into these incredible, incredible accomplishments. And that's motivating people. The more examples that you see, the more adopted people get to just the idea that it's it's a doable thing. I mean, people will just think that this is way further out of reach. Shitloads of new creators have been seized by the spirit of the Iron Age, urged on by their own ambitions, talents, not to mention the inbound implosion of the two major comic companies to spur themselves to release their own creative projects. And I find that frankly fucking amazing. They hate that, you know, you have something brand new that's getting all this sort of uh, uh, support behind it and there's nothing that they can do. They can sit up and screech. It's about all they can do that's all they is yell on, on Twitter, but uh, ultimately they can't stop anything you got to start engaging like you you yep. have to start really meeting these people where they are to win back the culture and this is what the right doesn't understand mm -hmm. they just think that if they just sit back and they play the good little conservative stupid person yeah, that everything's just going to balance itself out and it's going to go right. back to normal it's not it's not, it's not. It's not at all not. we're way past that this is going to be momentous because more people are seeing that it's a it's a it's a doable thing and you do not have to go through what people deem as the proper channels to, to do great things. There's so much we potential for beauty and for devastation. Years, we gather, in this one steps. moment, it's so almost incomprehensible that they can exist right now. So, and we are grateful so close. President Obama. We cross the streams. This is how we change culture. Yep, we cross yep. the streams. I will not stop until Donald Trump is on a Friday Night Titan. Hell yes. Good, because I've will. got questions, uh, I Benny. Can, I, I questions can't about Home Alone 2. Wow. If you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. So many people are like, um, they're contacting me, they're like, you know, Gina, you're so brave. I'm still so afraid. And I just think, oh man, <laughs> you should be more afraid that you're being made to feel afraid for what you think. That's what should make you feel afraid. We have everything necessary to save this world that's been scheduled for demolition. Oh, I don't know, I'm making this up as I go. I have plans that I will not share right now because the haters will sabotage me, but I got some stuff in the works. So how will our story end? Will this point in human history be the prequel for a space exploration series or a dystopian young adult novel? Failure is not an option. It's our choice. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm doing my part. It's like the meme where everyone's putting their sword in. Like we're, we all are fighting for the same thing and we all see the same problem and it's this army of orcs uh, that are fighting sitting here. Fighting the same beast from different angles. Have you ever seen an SJW? They look just like an orc. And so it's very, <laughs> very easy. It's, it's very the same. Same, no, no. same no, no. body type. It's time to stop being an NPC, get off your ass and join the meme war. Shame. Shame. No, I don't like you. Shame. If we were in the wild, I would attack you. I feel like this is one great way to fight the culture war is just meme on them, dude. Meme on them, dunk on them, have fun, joke around, don't care when they call us names. Oh! 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 I'm sick of it, man. I'm fucking sick of it. I will not do it again. Thank you. I wonder how many people feel exactly the same way. Yeah. Because our business is prosperity and freedom and justice and Americana yeah. 1776 worldwide. Well, welcome close. to America, Mitch. Okay. Welcome okay. to America. Okay. If you would have told me that I could replace the people I was watching at the time, the colliders and all of that. Colonialism. I, I would have been like, there's there's literally no way that's possible. You know what I mean? It's not possible. Not only is it possible, it can happen. Craft your comics, print that novel, design that damn video game or mod, bury your adversaries in your own undeniable greatness. This is why, you know, we talk about the Iron Age, we talk about all that stuff. I don't think the, there will be a better time maybe in modern history than right now to be a creative because you have the decline of what people consider the sort of, not just the mainstream, but the establishment stuff. Yeah. You know, now again, they had multi-million dollar studios, they had big backing, I don't have all that shit. 
I'm just me with my wonderful chat. You guys have made this possible. If listeners and viewers don't understand that they literally are the brains, the eyes, the, the muscle, the guts, the bones, the will, then we're going to lose. But if people get excited and realize this is an arm wrestling match with the New World Order and they put their will behind it, we will slam their fist through the table. The Illuminati. This is the time to get into YouTube. If ever you have a voice and a passion and something to say about the current climate and culture, voila! <laughs> Be the beating drum at the head of the growing creative cavalry charge. Be vocal and profound in your passion for projects you enjoy. The, you know, the one thing that, that I really appreciate at the meetup in Vegas, that there was a lot of people that were like, hey man, I'm, I'm writing a book, I'm creating this, I'm doing this. There was a lot of people like stepping up and like doing something like that. You have an opportunity unlike anything before where people, especially normies, are like looking for something else. And they, they'll, they're they they willing to, to hear you out a lot more than what they had been before. So it's an exciting time. No more excuses. This keyboard keeps changing colors on me. It's distracting me. The reflection of the keyboard coloring off the monitor on, onto the Google prototype scopes. Gordon! As usual, you're laying there with your thumb up your ass. Do something mad! I will continue to repeat myself. No one is coming to save us but us. If we don't do it, no one will. I gotta make this place a better place for these kids. I'm doing my part. <laughs> Nobody likes a quitter. Nobody said life was easy, so if you get knocked down, take the standing eight count, get back up, and fight again, and you're a macho maniac. Dig it. You never give up! Yeah, I want it louder though. Never back down, never what? Never give up. Never back down, never what? Never give up. Let's ready. Let's go. This is the I time. This is the time because <clears throat> the writer strike, they're about to hit the actor strike. They're not making products right now. And the products that they were making aren't good. Aren't so good. they're going to be delayed so, again. Like, this the is the time. are going to be heard again. I've seen, I can't even compute all of it. It's so fantastical. You've not seen nothing. You ain't heard nothing. You ain't smelled nothing like this. I don't have words to tell you. We are in the great correction. The social engineers and their masters will eventually regret destroying our entertainment, our escapism, our childhood heroes, because nerds will save the world. We could get a good indie movement, out of, a good independent movement out of this. We could. We'll, we'll see. Mount the fuck up, Razor Force, and give him the battle cry of the Iron Age. God fucking speed. I'm doing my part, too. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus oh God. Christ. Get access to exclusive videos and become a producer at my Subscribe Star. Links in the description.